we're going to draw the Lewis structure for ALH3, which is aluminum hydride. Now this is a metal, aluminum, bonded with non-metal hydrogen, which means it is an ionic compound. There will be a transfer of electrons from the metal to the non-metals. Now this one is only going to seem weird because hydrogen normally gives its electrons away. It normally has a charge of plus one. But in hydrides, they actually end up with a charge of minus one. Aluminum is here in group 13 of the periodic table. It will bring three valence electrons with it. One, two, three. Hydrogen is in group one of the periodic table. So it will bring one valence electron with it. Now, the metal will be giving electrons away to the non-metals. Hydrogen does not use the octet rule. It uses something called the doublet rule. It is happy with two electrons around it, not eight. So aluminum will donate one electron to hydrogen, and that will give this hydrogen two electrons. It will have a full outer shell. But this aluminum still has two other electrons to deal with, we're going to need two other hydrogens in order for aluminum to empty its outer shell or valence shell. This is why the formula is ALH3. You need three hydrogens in order to absorb all of the electrons that aluminum is giving away. What this means for the final product is that you have an aluminum atom that gave away three electrons. That's a plus three charge and each of the hydrogens has two electrons around it. That's one more than it brought, so that's a minus one charge. Now you're gonna to want to draw that three times to show that there are three of them. Your complete Lewis structure for aluminum hydride is here. Congratulations and best of luck.